life now is is uh, a seven-year-old uh, first grader who loves school, loves her friends, uh, loves playing the piano. She does. Loves to swim. And ski. She just learned how to ski this year. And these are all things that we sat in the hospital wondering, will this child ever go to school? She was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia when she was only eight weeks old. And because the kinds of chemotherapy regimens they use are the same kinds they use in adults, they were really concerned yeah. about the baby's ability to survive. So she was too small to get chemo at that point too. Uh, so it, it, when she was uh, mm -hmm. just about six months old, we went down for an appointment and the diagnosis was it's in her blood now and it's incredibly high percentage of leukemia cells in her bone marrow. So basically the next six and a half months of her life were spent in the hospital. You know, the, a lot of the baby first you have in the first year, walk, crawl, all that was done at Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. We were really, really fortunate, um, truly blessed, that by the end of her first round, um, she was in remission. Uh, it actually had um, brought down um, her leukemia to undetectable levels in her blood and bone marrow. But the wonderful thing, they told us that if you get to five years, the likelihood of it coming back is so slim to none. I mean, essentially you're in the long-term survivor category. Yeah. And every moment with her and actually getting to push her on a swing and run around with her and do the normal things that we didn't know we were ever gonna get to do are so special to us. And we wanna make sure that we are devoting our time to help the other people that may be facing these kinds of circumstances right now. It's, it's not good to go inward. You, you, gotta, you gotta reach out. And, and I can guarantee you, if you reach out once, there's gonna be a whole lot of other hands reaching for you when you misstep. The, the people who are affiliated with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, are most of them are, are folks who have lived what you're going through. And if, you, and if you haven't reached out, you should definitely reach out because there's, there's, there's confidence, there's success in numbers. They're gonna help you get through you know, the, the tough times, help you celebrate the good times, but you, you, gotta, you gotta reach out.